I'm Ariane with Baratza. Today I'd like to show you some preventative maintenance and cleaning for your Encore ESP. If your grinder is running and nothing is coming out, your grinder might be clogged. And we do have another video for that. However, in this video, I'd like to show you how to routinely clean and troubleshoot any damaged parts you might have. Cleaning your grinder is a great way to ensure you're getting the most out of your machine with every cup you brew. Cleaning the Encore ESP is super easy and we have some quick tips to show you how we do it. First, you wanna unplug the grinder. Next, you'll empty out your grounds bin and empty out the hopper if you have any residual coffee left in there. You're next going to remove the hopper by giving it a clockwise twist so the grind indicator is past the setting 40 and then you can lift it up. Once you have the hopper removed, lift out the gasket and the burr holder underneath. We're gonna set those parts aside for now and clean them later. This will give us access to the lower burr. We can remove it by unlocking the quick release knob by turning it clockwise and removing it. After the knob is removed, you should be able to lift out the burr. Please be aware that some of our models have a shim underneath the quick release nut. So be careful and don't lose that. I'm gonna take the brush that came with the grinder, bend the back of it to lift the paddle wheel up. You can even turn the grinder upside down, just make sure not to lose any of the shims that are under the paddle wheel. There's six shims and these are essential for the calibration of your grinder. Now use a brush or a vacuum to clean out the grind chamber in the chute. In the shop, we like to use a compressor to get all the residual coffee out. We don't recommend using canned air though, since there are some chemicals that you don't want to get inside your grinder. I'm also going to clean the discharge chute and we're going to clean it from the top and from the bottom with the brush. I'm also going to use a warm, non-scented soapy towel to clean out all the parts that we set aside earlier. After cleaning all the parts, you want to make sure to go through all parts and dry them off completely. You don't want your burrs to get oxidized. Another topic we like to get asked is, how often should I be cleaning my grinder? And the short answer is every three months. But it does depend. If you're using darker and oilier coffees, you're gonna wanna clean your grinder once a month. However, if you're using lighter roasted coffees, you could get away with cleaning it every three to six months. Now, before we put everything together, we wanna make sure that all of our parts are in good shape. First, let's take a look at the gasket. If you see any small tears on the gasket, we do recommend replacing it since it does prevent coffee from getting into the grinder. You may notice a small circular blemish, but fear not, it's just a manufacturing spot and it will not affect your grind. After, we want to make sure that the paddle wheel is still in good shape. When inspecting, you want to make sure that the wheel still has all four paddles. If one is worn or even missing, we do recommend replacing the paddle wheel. Now we want to look at the burr holder. To make sure that this is in good shape, we want to look at all three tabs of it. For the ESP, all the tabs are different sizes, but we want to make sure that there's no pressure cracks or any damage to the tabs. When replacing the paddle wheel back into the grinder, you want to make sure that you add the six shims and felt, followed by the paddle wheel shim. Once the shims are in place under the wheel, you can align it one of two ways on the shaft. The burr will just slide down onto the wheel. You want to make sure that the pins of the paddle wheel lock into the hole of the burr. If your ESP came with a quick release knob shim, don't forget to reinstall that after placing your lower burr back into the grinder. You can spin the wing nut back on by rotating it counterclockwise. Now that the bottom burr is installed, we can go ahead and install our top burr. Now the top burr, its burr holder has three different tabs and they're all different sizes, which means there's only one way you can really put this in. You're gonna wanna line up the red tab with the red tab inside the grinder, which sits around number 27. Now we can place the gasket onto the top burr. When installing, you wanna make sure the thicker side goes towards the grinder and the thinner side faces up. After everything is put into place, we can install the hopper. We want to make sure that the silver grind tab indicator is placed on top of the silver arrow next to setting number 40. Push down and rotate to your preferred grind setting. And just like that, you're done. 
Preventative maintenance and cleaning can be so easily done with the Encore ESP. If you're facing any issues or have any concerns, please feel free to email us, support at And that's all for me. Happy grinding. <laughs>